In this video, I'm going to unbox and try out the new Rody 2 automatic tuner. Man Bun Metalhead here, and today I just got the Rody 2 automatic tuner delivered to my door. Now, if you don't know what the Rody 2 is, it is basically a tuner that you set on your tuning peg, strum the string, and it automatically tunes that string for you. So I'm really excited to try this out, open it up. Um, I haven't used the Rody 1 before, but apparently there's some good upgrades to the Rody 2. For instance, you don't have to use the app in order to use this. So kind of excited about that. Let's get into unboxing this thing. All right, so here is the box that it came in. Um, pretty small box. So it has a Google Play and an Apple um, app from the App Store uh, in Bluetooth right in there. It comes with the brand the Rody and a USB-C cable. Um, yeah, pretty simple. So we'll get our trusty utility knife. Okay, we've got so we've got the uh, instruction manual, product manual. We'll see if we can do this without going through that. We'll keep that right there. Small cable, and there is our tuner. box aside so hey not not too bad it's uh pretty light it's got a nice finish on it um yeah no scratches or anything kind of like uh the way it looks pretty simple it really just has a usb on there so the dial feels pretty solid okay now Got a button here. Let's see if we hold that down. Hey, hey, there we go. So that doesn't there. Oh, there's clicking through. So we've got all kinds. So I'm probably gonna end up doing an electric guitar. I go six strings. Then magically, my background turns white. Realize the black wasn't working out that well for looking at this uh, roadie. So back where we were at, so we had set up our electric guitar, and then if we wanted to add an instrument, pretty simple. We just add acoustic. So you want to go to six, 12 strings. I go six, and there we go. So we got those added up. We can add more instruments, but uh, we're gonna do that now. So now the main menu here, we have our instrument list. We can go add a new instrument. We can wind and unwind. So this way, so we wind that. We can do, looks like different speeds. And then obviously the other way. All right. Then back. Uh, and then we have our settings. So we have the name of our tuner. I'll call it Rody 2. That's fine for now. Uh, we can test the Rody. So it's going to start some tests. Also, let's check in the lights. All right. Oh, front LED. Some vibration. Buzzer. RTC test. Not sure what that is but it passed. That's good. Checking current now. Checking current on the winder, it looks like. Checking the position of the winder, I think. So it looks like it passed the testing. So that's what options we have. Front LED. So 
We can turn the uh, LED on when we tune. I don't need that right now. Tune up. Uh, so if this is switched on, we will tune up to pitch. And I like that because you should always tune up to pitch whenever you tune. About roadie, I don't really care about that. All right. Well, that's pretty much what we're going to see on this roadie. Make sure we got a decent picture of what this looks like now, the white background. All right, well, let's get this thing on an instrument. Uh, I have this guitar, obviously electric, set up to um, E standard, which is what my roadie was uh, set to for the original settings. Um, I will not only be using this roadie, but I'm going to uh, be hooking up to a Polytune 2. Uh, to just see how that compares with the tuning. So I'm going to go ahead and detune all these. And so I'm going to go up and down on all these just to see uh, how the roadie does. So there we go. Um, so we've got our polytune working there. We have the roadie here. Press the button to turn it on. And then it gives me electric or acoustic. And I'll go with electric. All right. So now it's showing me um, E2. So that's the uh, low E string. So we'll just kind of stick that on there. All right. So it gave me a beep like it was done. But according to my polytune there, it's a little flat. Don't know about that. No, A looks pretty good. Eh. It is going a little flat. These pretty good. So getting down there is a little difficult just because you can't see the tuning peg, but. So G might be a little sharp. B's not bad, just uh, maybe slightly sharp. E looks almost right on the money. High E looks almost right on the money. No, I'm assuming this isn't going to be quite in tune, but I think. It's not bad. So we'll kind of look at E again. You see that is a little. A little flat. D was good. G's not bad now. B's a little sharp. And this thing is still working. <laughs> so that is the roadie tuner. Uh, just a quick use of it. Uh, might not be perfect, but it's pretty close. Now, I'm going to mess around with it uh, a lot more. I'm going to try it on different guitars. I'm going to try it on uh, acoustics, a 12-string acoustic. Uh, Floyd Rose, seven strings. I'm going to try all these different guitars. I'm going to see how it works out. See, um, see how it performs. Um, I'm really excited to try this out on a Floyd and also try it on a 12 string because those are some of the worst to tune. And if it can get it close or I mean, right on, it'd be great. If it can get close, it might not be bad, especially for the Floyd. So I'm going to give that a shot uh, and you will see that video out pretty soon. Now, what do you think about the Rody tuner? Did you use the original? Have you used uh, the new one, the Rody 2? Uh, tell me what you think. Tell me if you're interested in it. Tell me what you found. Um, if you like this video, give me a like down there. And if you want to hear more about what I'm working on, especially when I come out this review, a uh, full on review, uh, feel free to subscribe and you'll be notified uh, whenever those videos come out. But hey, until next time, rock on.